Cisco Endpoint AMP Analysis, CLI Capture, Kofter. All right, lots of uh, cool Cisco Talos links. Check them out. Um, Cisco provides the ability to do command line capture and observes these activities against indicators of compromise to discover previously unknown attacks. As the unknown malware attempts to leverage the command line to further compromise an asset, Cisco Endpoint identifies the threat based on IOCs. Pretty cool. In this attack, we have a malicious document when open causes MS Word to launch PowerShell, indicating a potential exploitation or visual basic compromise. Once executed, PowerShell downloads and execute a variant of Kofter. The Trojan family is identified using CLI argument patterns observed and executed by MSHTA. And then we look at threat grid to confirm this, but this is a pretty cool one. So we go to um, the dashboard, pivot to the inbox. We go and uh, highlight the host of interest. Very quickly, we can see related events. We can pivot from there. Or we just open device trajectory up as a whole and we look for indications of compromise. So very quickly, I'm gonna make this large screen. I'm gonna scroll across. And the first indicator that we see is an open IOC for WinWord PowerShell. Now this is pretty cool. We highlight all the command line arguments that's with it um, and we trigger obviously the IOC. So that, that's the first one that we see. Um, and what's happening here is PowerShell's downloading and executing a file on this second event here, right? So that second event, now we've got PowerShell downloading an executable. As we move along, what we're gonna end up seeing is we're gonna look for mshta.exe um, we can see that it was invoked, or it invoked PowerShell, and we can we can tell JavaScript is being passed to MSHTA to be evaluated. It uses wscript.shell, an ActiveX object, to execute values being read uh, from the registry. Right. So this technique is used by malware such as Powlex, if I say that correctly, and Kofter. Uh, the actual malware is stored in a form of a DLL in a registry key, right? Pretty, pretty cool. Um, so as we continue to have investigate, we're going to see a uh, another trigger here. And we can see now regserve32.exe was invoked by PowerShell, and it's making a couple of outbound connections. Well, that's pretty interesting, right? RegServe32.exe making connections outbound. All right, let's zoom in here. Let's look a little bit further, and we can see a drop binary from PowerShell, and we can see that it's malicious. So let's drill into this a little bit, right? This is that temp file that we just pivoted on, and here's the threat grid report, and we can see it's classified as 100. All right, so let's dig into this even further. And the first thing that we see is a couple of indicators, well, uh, uh, quite a few, right, that, that have scored. Uh, but the first one is Kofter Trojan Detected. So Kofter is a click fraud Trojan that can act as an information stealer. This is fileless malware. The malicious DLL is stored inside a web, uh, Windows registry key and injected directly into memory using PowerShell, right? So some of that stuff we saw at the command line. Um, what's really cool here is this report shows you everything. So this was the that file being dumped into a um, uh, outside looking in sandbox, we do the full analysis and then we po we provide a disposition, right? That disposition could be clean, it could be unknown or malware, in this case malware. But I can pivot on everything, registry keys, file entries, everything. But it all started with that command line. Here we can also see a video of it. I'm not going to show the video in detail. We're, we start with the command line. Very quickly we can see the indication of compromise. We know it's bad. Game over for the bad guys.